Hello, this is Rachel. Okay, so you've probably been wondering to yourself, I'm a new nurse and I've just been issued this locker at work and I'm wondering what kind of things, what kind of items am I going to need in my locker or with me at all times. So there are some nurses who don't get a locker at work. They may get a drawer. They may not get anything really, any personal space to keep their items. So they probably carry a bag. So here are some essential items that I think would be helpful um, as a nurse when they're first starting out um, to keep with them at all times. Um, so first and foremost important <laughs> is you're always going to want to make sure that you have Plenty of pens, plenty of writing utensils, because um, more times than not, you're going to be scrambling to find a pen, and depending on the unit you work in, you may not always have a pen available. So, pencil pouch, lots of pens. Black pens. Black pens are the best. And I always kept a pair of scissors, because you never know when you need to cut um, people's bands off or anything, tubing, any tape, you know, it's always good to have a pair of scissors on hand. Another thing I want to say is important is notepad. When you're first starting out, you probably have like a thousand questions. So bring a notepad, keep it in your pocket, keep it in your locker. Just always have some paper to write on, doesn't matter. Even scratch paper, just a handful of that. Just as long as you have something to write on, it's most important. So keep that in your locker. Um, some other things to remember. Oh, now I don't know about you, but I never really, I always felt naked if I didn't have a watch. So if you wear a watch regularly, daily, I would always keep a backup in your locker if you can afford it. And just in case you leave the primary one that you usually wear at home, um, and then that way you have another device to use when you need it. Another watch. Of course, you'll always want to bring your stethoscope. Now, let's just say that your unit provides stethoscopes and you don't necessarily need to bring your own from home. But some people really, you know, spent a lot of money on their stethoscope and want to make sure that they get a good use out of it in their life. So bring your stethoscope. Keep that in your locker. Use it when you need it. Another thing I always remember to bring were tape, of course. You never know when you're gonna run out of tape or need tape and it, and some people, which, you know, they try to like connect it to their stethoscope, but I found that that's like, you know, not very sanitary because you're going from room to room and visiting new patients. So I would just keep it in my pocket, use it when I need it, if I need it, or just keep it in my locker. You'll also wanna have a highlighter to go with your pens and pencils, because or your pens for sure, because when you're getting report, if you use highlighting as a technique when you're taking a report, then that's important. Always have that available. Another item, if you're contact lens wear and you wear contacts a lot, I would definitely keep a bottle of contact solution and maybe a spare contact case, um, just because you never know if you're going to get a rip or a tear and you need to quickly take those out. Um, or splashing fluids in your face and in your eyes. Another item, few items, these are personal items. Personally, I think they're important. Brush, comb, you never know when you're gonna have to pull your dew up and like get that going and making it look nice. Uh, hairspray, of course. And everybody's gonna probably be like, oh, a few people at least will come up to you and say, can I borrow your hairspray? So that's important. Um, deodorant, I never win a day without having deodorant in my locker. Not because I forgot to put deodorant on in the morning, but because of the fact that reapplying is essential. Even if it's just reapplying by the end of your shift, when it's time to give report to the next shift, just freshening yourself up for the next nurse, <laughs> making sure you smell okay. I had lotion, I had a body spray. Some patients are really sensitive to smell, so you don't want to overdo that, but just to freshen up once in a while, mid-shift, it's nice. I used it. Um, I always had toothpaste and floss. You never know. There's a lot of beautiful cooks and bakers out there that are nurses and they bring desserts and snacks, but anytime you need something to come out of your teeth and you just need floss, this is important to have on hand. And let's see. Chapstick. 
many hospital environments are dry. The air is just so drying that chapstick is essential to have to keep your lips hydrated. Uh, another item would be ibuprofen or Tylenol or aspirin, I guess, whatever you prefer for pain relief or headache relief. A lot of people tend to come down with this or menstrual cramps during the month and they never have what they need for pain relief. Um, so they're always asking to borrow yours or someone else's. Another item, speaking of, depending on if you are a sanitary napkin slash pad user or a tampon user, make sure that you always have um, an extra supply of pads or tampons for you uh, for that time of the month because it never really comes at the opportune times. Um, I always had safety pins because there are many times that you have to pin something up, a person, something to a patient's gown like an NG tubing or whatever else type of items you want to pin up. You have the pins available, um, even if it's just a temporary pin to place uh, once in a while. Another big um, thing to have is you'll always want to make sure that you have some type of protein or some type of substance in your locker available at all times. I don't know how many times I might have messed or left my lunch at home or left uh, lunch money at home and I need a quick snack. I don't have any change for the vending machine. A lot of yada yada. You just have to have something available to snack on. Make sure to keep your body full of energy and lots of, um, um, lots of ways to do that is just to make sure to keep something in your locker to snack on or nibble on when you need it. And last but not least, that's most important, I think, is odor eaters spray. So I always kept a pair of shoes at work, an extra pair, and I made sure that at the end of my shift, I would spray my shoes. And the shoes that I had currently worn to work that were my home shoes, I would give those a good spray before the start of my shift as well, just so that um, we never have a smelly locker room. And <laughs> that way, for each time that you do use your shoes, you are eliminating the odor for next time. So, uh, big key points. You can take what I have said and choose to implement all of these items or a few of them. Either way, it's just a suggestion to help you when you're starting off as a nurse. If you have some space, some personal space to put these items, it'd be a good idea to invest and get some started. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.